welcome to South End. Thank you. Christmas Pavilion. We're backstage here at the Christmas Pavilion in Tom's dressing room. Yeah. I saw the show last night. It was brilliant. So much energy. Um, this is like your fifth stop off, isn't it? I think so. That's yeah. right. We're back at the sea because we started in Plymouth at the sea. So yeah. I've been by the sea and you've got the longest pier in the world. Yeah. Have you been down it yet? It's no. a bit long. No. At the moment, seeing that maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday. Yeah, maybe Friday, yeah. Because you don't, you're not getting a break, are you? Hardly. No, we have a bit of a mental schedule, so we, we do eight shows in five days, which mm. is quite intense. We turn off on the Tuesday, do a show, then two Wednesday, two Thursday, one Friday, two Saturday. And then we leave again, so yeah. it's quite quick. Mm. Wow, you must be exhausted. Now, I saw the show last night, and it's got heaps and heaps of energy. How do you maintain that energy every night? You're the best person well, to Well, behind the camera, there's like uh, 28 bananas. <laughs> bananas, uh, yeah. Uh, oats, oats have spilled on the floor because of one <laughs> tour that fell out of its oats box. Stage crew, stage crew, stage crew. Stage crew, that's stage crew stage crew stage stage crew stage crew already stage. telling us we need to be on stage. Yeah. Um, yeah, so just um, energy wise, I mean, it's funny, it's like a switch, isn't it? You just Yeah, Dr. Theatre, we call it. Mm. Um, we, it just, it's weird, adrenaline. The amount of adrenaline that runs through our bodies is a bit unnatural, but um, you just kind of, you just kind of do. I don't know. It's really mm. weird. It's really you weird. Can't, you it? can't go to sleep, very is it? I mean, no. I mean, it's always the mornings you feel like you're 109, but at yeah. night you just can't switch off really until like no. one and just little mm. endorphins and mm. natural adrenaline. Because they mm. say it's like fight or flight mode. When the curtain yeah, yeah. goes up, that's what your body is going into, simulating mm. a, uh, a a trauma effect. Yeah. Um, but obviously, good. Trauma. <laughs> um, yeah, but but the body responds as if it's actually as if you're actually in fight or flight mode. So yeah. your your adrenal gland is like switched on. It's a bit. He knows all the science behind it. Biology. Yeah. 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 Well, I didn't. I just did dance instead. <laughs> so I just have that. But I think as well, sleep. Just sleep. Mm. I just have to sleep until I have to get up. Otherwise, I just my voice. Yeah, it's like being a teenager again. You, you have to get as much <laughs> really sleep as is. possible in the mornings. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. And late nights. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, for anyone who doesn't know about the show, give us a brief synopsis Go on. of what it's all about. Um. I'm sure you'd be better at this than me. It's, it's, uh, it's I think it's one of the greatest love stories never quite told. Uh, it, it, the difference between the, this love story and another one um, in in mutual theatre is mistaken identity and dressing up as someone else to try and catch the girl. So the script is so funny. It was actually written in the 90s as opposed to mm. 30s or 50s, even though it's got all the Gershwin classics. Yeah, and it's kind of, isn't it based on Girl Crazy? Or yeah. A lot of the songs are taken from that. Yes. Film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got in it, songs wise. I got rhythm. Can't take that, can't take that away from me. Slap that bass. Slap that bass. Embraceable. You. Is it you or me? So there's two songs I always get mixed up. Embraceable You and But Not For Me. Um, and we always get them mixed up. And Someone To Watch Over. Me. <laughs> yes. Someone To Watch Over Me. <laughs> uh, yeah. The Gershwin Buffs are yeah. definitely Yeah, it's um, all the good ones, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I loved you singing um, Yeah, Not For Me yeah. last night. That's such a gorgeous it's song. It's a gorgeous song. Yeah. And you've got such an amazing voice. <laughs> Thank I you. I mean, it's a beautiful clarity in your voice and the power. Mm. Well. <laughs> yeah, literally, it? if it's foggy out there, <laughs> blow it uh, all away. The, the fog horn. Yeah, it, it used is. to be, I mean, you, you, did you um, do sound and music outside? Yeah, I did sound and music outside. outside. I think that's why I have such a loud voice now, because mm. we were taught how to project, because we, we weren't mic'd when we were talking. Yeah. So we, yeah, we really had to carry it. Mm. Yeah. And it'll be the, the, the northern... Um, Oh, being a northerner as well. Yeah. Oh, of course. You know. Yeah. Oh, fog horn it for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That should be of course. It well. is true though. We do have just do just gobby really. Uh, <laughs> when you need something now. You know how to. Yeah, you know how to get it. <laughs> Stop that bus. <laughs> what I love about it, it's like it's almost like watching an old movie, mm. just being brought to life on stage, isn't it? Does it kind of feel like that? It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Because it is it, the whole show is just a, a spectrum of colours of, mm. of all the, ra the the rainbow from start to finish. I mean, mm. it really is. It's a it's a proper genuine. You're beaming, smiling all it the way is. through. Yeah, and the audience are as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think and you can see you guys are really enjoying yourself. Aren't they? Yeah, yeah. We're we're a really t kind of tight knit group actually. You kind mm. of have to be with. So the show is actor musician, mm. which I'm sure we'll get onto more in a minute. Yeah. But we but so so the entire ensemble play. The music we have no pit orchestra yeah. they play it all live 
And, some and off play. by heart. And off by heart. Yeah. A Gershwin score, yes. which is... Off by heart, which is mental. Yeah. Um, but what's so great about acting musicianship is that everyone has to work as a team, because if you don't work as a team, the show doesn't happen. Mm. Like, you know, it doesn't work. So I think we're very lucky in that we're really... We're all really close and we all really support each other and we all trust each other, and especially between us two. The amount of trust we have to have as actors, because, um, you know, if you're not working on the same rhythms, then because of the technicality of the show and how funny it is, mm. it just doesn't work. So I think we're very lucky in that. Or me it. just dropping you in the lips. Yeah. There is that. The I dance. mean, you've never done that. But, um, I was going to ask you, is there any, have there been any mishaps yet? Or, um, or that you care to admit to really? anyway? I don't really oh, oh, one major one. Oh, which was what? Dress malfunction. <gasps> oh, no. oh, I had a quick change malfunction. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, so there's a part of the show where I where I change from the from my uh, skirt. You know, my um, I have yeah, a suede skirt. Exactly, yeah. And I change back into my blue dress very, 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 very quickly. Um, in the wings, and we both lay it off after embrace for you, and. I, and I strip off and I step into my dress, but I step only into one of the skirts that are attached. Right. So we couldn't do the zip up. The dresser out of just panic, just forced the zip. The, the zip exploded oh, into a thousand pieces. Right. I'm there stood in my underwear <laughs> and my tights going, well, I can't go on stage now. My cue's there. You're standing there going, well, what do What's I do? Going on? Yeah. I'm like, you're going to have to go on stage without me. You then go on and do some brilliant improvisation. The girls are already improvising. I then completely skip that scene and go back on in my previous costume. But that also takes about 30 seconds to get back into. And then doing a number in the wrong costume really weirdly throws yeah. you. Oh, yeah, but that was weird. Because it feels, just feels really weird, just, just really different. But yeah, that's big, <coughs> big muffle. I think what, what's lovely for a live theatre is that you really do get a unique sort of experience every night. Mm -hmm. So sometimes bottles drop or things, like we had say. a bottle smash on stage yeah. and now you cover it up. And you're and throwing drumsticks and, yeah. and that's the other thing with you. you. You talk about like, Triple threat. This shows quadruple threat mm -hmm. with the chorus playing all the instruments. Oh, yeah. You are like a little acrobat in one scene as well. <laughs> Give me anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> I launched well, myself. I was not expecting set. to see that. Yeah, <laughs> cool. I always like to try and yeah. add real, real jeopardy on stage yeah. for an audience that it can literally go. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing when, when, when in unison you can actually that those effects that are created. I think they're you know it's good because there's a lot of fear to this uber safe and, mm. and, and, and so we like to try and yeah. not break the rules but just kind of take it to the limit where you can or where it's like feasible mm. and, and yeah I think it's yeah it's makes it's, it exciting it is yeah. exciting and for us in the audience we're like oh gosh yeah, and, and us in the wings like, are doing the exact same thing. Oh, no. Dropping those things, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of a lot of throwing. Throwing. It's, it's mm. someone described it as a bit of um, uh, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective meets Gene <laughs> Kelly. Yeah, okay. kind of thing. Or, yeah. or Tarzan, uh, Gene Kelly. Uh, but I mean, the whole yeah, it's it's it, when you're saying about quadruple, they, you almost don't know where to look because mm. there's so much going on on stage, mm. and it's it's how they do it. How, how you can make a sustain. A clear note on a, a on a violin or or a wind instrument, mm. um, and be kicking and dancing and jumping and leaping and pirouetting. I don't um, know how they actually. I don't know. I don't. Do. I mean, we were sitting watching it last night, and you hear the orchestra, and then you completely forget that they're actually there on stage playing mm. it. Because it's it genuinely live. So I mean, there's good. not one bit of anything. There's a con it. there's only a conductor in the wing. Yeah, I wondered where he was. And he, so yeah, and so wing. we see him through the cameras. Right. Yeah. But all the instruments you see on stage, they're all being. And mm. some people still don't believe it. The girl Kate who plays the violin, she's mm. doing she's mm. doing so much movement mm. that you think, is she really playing that, or is, or, or is there something else going on? It's, yeah. No, it's genuine. It's and really it's, you play the trumpet as well, do you? A few notes, yeah. a few a few bum notes. Is, yeah, it's good. Is, yeah, it's it's um yeah I, I yeah I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm right. not at the same skill set. Then we have very small. I think so to put it into perspective, for their main instrument, so say their main instrument is a violin, but they might also play a fiddle. Their main instrument, they have to be grade eight or above to be mm. uh, to be an active musician, which mm. I think is mental. I reached grade mm. one of the piano and gave up. <laughs> but I mean, like literally, these these they, God, they're absolutely incredible. Matt actually plays the entire woodwind section. Really? He plays everything. Does wow. he? The entire woodwind section, yeah. Clarinet, piccolo, um, wow. bass clarinet, like the, the whole thing, the whole woodwind section he plays. Yeah. It must have been a nightmare to choreograph as well. Well, fun. Yeah, it's right. Mm. <laughs> I think, definitely. Cool. No, no, you 
say what what a challenge for choreographers is like the limit mm -hmm. trying to, Nathan choreographer yeah. Nathan right he would always like okay so if I ask you to do that with that instrument at the same time is that possible and everyone was very enthused about yeah, yeah we'll, do, yeah, we'll give try. it a go so they, it, how I don't quite know how it did come together especially in the time we were given we only had four weeks yeah, yeah that's not long and not long at all and also then the musicians were learning the music at the same time yeah mm. and like you say they've got they're not reading it they've, they've yeah. learned it all by heart it's oh. mental yeah. <laughs> I think it's amazing so good so this is Caroline Flax first musical mm -hmm. how's she getting on doing it she is loving it actually yeah she's she really great. so good i loved her voice last night yeah, yeah. isn't that a well mm -hmm. when i say a surprise mm -hmm. we shouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. but um my family when they, they were like oh wow caroline's got a really lovely mm -hmm. husky sort of mm -hmm. like you know it's got mm -hmm. that lovely uh late night radio husky <laughs> bluesy yeah. whatever and yeah, so she's yeah. got that voice anyway and it yeah. sounds good with an american accent too doesn't yeah. it yeah i yeah. think she's really settled doesn't she yeah um, she calls herself the third banana um, which, which is her her comments, not uh, but it's really lovely. She made a very clever decision as um, she was trained in musical yes. theatre, but has never actually practiced it since mm. uh, well, since graduating. Yeah. So this is her first musical theatre experience, mm. and um, she cleverly said, "I don't want to do uh, a lead. I just want to ease into yeah. it gently." Mm. And she's absolutely loving it. I mean, for anyone, it is really truly. Scary having to, you feel very naked singing yeah. unless you're someone like Charlotte who's <laughs> been doing it since you were six. Too many, yeah. Um, but it, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a unique experience yeah. at doing it. And uh, yeah, luckily, we're, we're, everyone's absolutely, truly invested in the whole thing. Mm. And yeah, so. Right. And so um, she's going to be doing it up to December. And we'll just find out Claire Sweeney's going to take yeah. over. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's Everyone must be pleased about that. Eager beaver can't wait to Yeah, I just, I've actually just worked with her on Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So oh, okay. um, we know already know each other. So actually it's really awesome. nice for me. Um, and she's just fabulous. Like, yeah. she's very different energy to, to um, Caroline as well, which mm. will be really interesting. Mm. Um, she's a little bit older, but she's also just a class, she's just a class act in terms of like what she's done it so many times before. Mm. So that's going to be a bit different. But it's going to be weird not having Caroline here. She's just yeah. part of our group. Yeah. It's, it's, going yeah. funny. Yeah. it's going to be funny. It's going to be funny. I mean, I've done that before, taking over roles, and it's it's odd when it's the new yeah, so when someone goes. It's, it, it, it's it, odd, it, yeah. It, yeah, it is because it really time. is um, the, the theatre world. You do become like a um, a, a sibling family sure, type knit group where yeah. you you really are sort of. If one goes down, then the whole thing, mm. you know, everyone has to step in. Well, you're together for like nine months, aren't you, on this tour? So yeah, I think in, well, I think by the time we were, including rehearsals, we've done a year by the time we finish. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a huge amount of time to spend with, with yeah. the same group of people. Mm. Yeah. Um, That's why casting's so important. Mm. That's why it takes so long. And you're lucky mm. when, 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 when you don't get a bad apple in the uh, Yeah, in we're the very, very, very lucky. Very lucky. Mm. Very lucky. Yeah, it's great. We are, yeah. We always yeah. appreciate that. So are you guys up to much in Southend? I mean, we haven't got very much time to no, do anything. You've really only got because of all the matinees. Because of all the matinees. Um, but I mean, we try and see as much as we can, but I mean, because we just have to, have to have as much downtime as we can mm. to kind of recoup between between shows, mm, especially because our bodies, like, we just need to sit down. <laughs> I'm just yeah. waiting for the tide to come back in because I will be in that scene no matter oh, what. Oh, really? Tom loves going in the sea, don't you? We love going in the sea. And to get into water. Actually, behind that door as well, there's an ice bin. So, because there's. there's so active that um, going to cryotherapy and just going to cold water just okay. to stop um, inflammation and um, it helps healing that gets really the does help. blood cells to the um, core of your joints much quicker. So we could see you swimming along with the sea front later. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. It's actually quite warm because it's so shallow. It's much mm. warmer than the normal sea. Okay. If you know that. I'm just going to take your word for that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, on that note, <laughs> we'll say thank you very thank much. Thank you. You're very well. For South End Theatre scene today, and um, good luck with the rest of the run in South End. Thank you. And the rest of the run. Thank you. Thank you. Everywhere else. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.